You may sometimes feel that you have too much work and not enough energy. The physical concepts of work and energy have precise meanings that allow you to solve physics problems. Consider a constant force, F, acting on an object moving in a straight line. The simplest case is when the force F is applied in the direction along the displacement vector D. In this case, the work done is equal to F times D. Work W equals force F times displacement D. In general, however, forces are not applied along the direction of motion. If the angle between the force and the displacement is theta, the work done is equal to F times D times the cosine of theta. In vector form, this is expressed as W equals F dot D. To produce the same total displacement and work for the case with a 20 degree angle versus the case with a zero angle, the force required is correct. Because the force is applied at an angle, greater force must be applied to yield the same work and displacement. Work can be either positive or negative. Our hero is working hard. According to the physics definition of work, what work is being performed on the house? Correct. There is no displacement, and therefore, no work is being done. Here, the block is moving over a horizontal surface at a constant speed. In this case, the normal and gravitational forces are perpendicular to the displacement and thus these forces do no work on the block. Work can be expressed in joules. Now the block is accelerating at a constant rate. Because the block's acceleration is constant, the acceleration is equal to the final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by the elapsed time. The displacement x is equal to the average velocity times the elapsed time. Remember that the work is equal to the force times the displacement. Because F equals MA, the work is equal to the acceleration times the mass times the displacement. Now replace A and X with the above expressions. This can be simplified as shown. The quantity K equal to half the product of the mass and the velocity squared is called the kinetic energy. The work is equal to the change in kinetic energy. This is the work energy theorem. The work energy theorem also applies in cases where the force is variable. In this case, the work done on an object is obtained by integrating the force along the object's path from its starting point x sub s to its final position x sub f. We know from Newton's second law that F equals MA. The acceleration A is equal to the change in velocity dV over dt. This can be rewritten as shown. Next, use the definition of velocity. Insert the above expressions into the integral. The factors dx cancel. Evaluate the integral to obtain the result. V sub s is the initial velocity, and V sub f is the final velocity. For a more detailed version of the derivation, click on the Show Derivation button. More discussion of integrating to find the work follows this point. What is the work done by a force that varies along the displacement? Here is a force directed along x that varies as a function of x. The displacement ranges from position x equals L to position x equals R. To solve this problem, divide the x into small intervals delta x. We make the displacement delta x sufficiently small that the force throughout the interval is approximately constant. Therefore, the small increment of work delta w done in displacing the object by delta x is approximately equal to the force f at the position x times delta x. The total work done over the sum of the displacement increments delta x 
is the sum of these small rectangular units of work. In the limit delta x goes to zero, this becomes an integral. Let's consider an example. The force exerted by an ideal spring is in the direction opposite the displacement of the spring and proportional to it. The constant k is called the force constant for the spring. This equation is known as Hooke's law. What is the amount of work you must do to stretch the spring from zero to x? The force you exert on the spring is equal in magnitude and opposite in direction to the force exerted by the spring. The integral is then as shown. The solution of the integral is that the work is one-half the constant k times the displacement squared. How fast will the block be going at the bottom of the cliff? Assume the initial velocity of the block is zero. Let's use the work energy theorem. The work done by gravity is the height of the cliff times the mass of the block times the acceleration of gravity. With a zero initial kinetic energy, the final kinetic energy is equal to the work done. We can solve for the velocity. The mass cancels out. If the cliff is 30 meters high, the final velocity will be about 24.5 meters per second.